Okay there, comrades. Thank you for joining me, whether across the country or around the world. Old Kevin Sorbo turned his Twitter thread into one of those walking stick in spoke memes, if you get what I'm saying. You ever see one of those memes where it has Hannibal Burris sitting in the chair and then the guy blasts him and he's like, why would Hannibal Burris make me do this? You know what I'm saying? Or it's like the guy who like beats up his wife and says, why would you make me do this? Or the guy that hits his dog or hits his cat. Why would you make me do that? That sort of shit. That's what's actually going down in this guy's mind right now. If you didn't know, Kevin Sorbo's not some run-of-the-mill conservative. He's a right-winger. Kevin Sorbo's the guy who played Hercules on TV in like the 90s and early 2000s, I think it was. Okay, he was uh, actually, you know, it was, it was good stuff. It was decent stuff. So check this out. He quote tweets, something at 1027 a.m., 1621, Ashley St. Clair says, people are storming the Capitol in D.C. right now, and he says, it's happening. Oh, <laughs> is it? Is that what you wanted? 1117 a.m., history is being made, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, it's a date that will go down in infamy, there's no doubt. To those storming the Capitol, please be careful. Do not act like Antifa. <laughs> he means anti-fascist, of course. Respect the police and know they are most mostly on our side. They're simply trying to do their job. <laughs> that was at 12.16 p.m., 1.621. So let's go over the timeline real quick. 10.27 a.m., it's happening. 11.17 a.m., history being made. Yeah, you get to be part of a coup attempt, buddy. Don't you love it? In 1216 p.m. Please be careful and don't act like Antifa. 1 p.m. This is the stick in the spoke portion. This is where <laughs> you roll around on the ground, you hold your knee, and then you curse someone other than yourself. 1 p.m. Antifa led the charge into the Capitol building just as Trump supporters. Kevin Sorbo, that never happened. You literally just made that up. We are all absolutely dumber for having read that. Now, check this out real quick, guys. <laughs> One of the first memes is the stick and spoke meme. And the guy's using a Confederate flag, and you love to see it. <laughs> Next tweet. Next response, starts masturbating, finishes, wave of post-jerk guilt. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that. And then justification. <laughs> I guess, you know, that's funny. <laughs> Folds Trump supporter costume. How did he find out about this? <laughs> if I pitched this, I would be told it was too obvious. Oh, yes. Next. This doesn't add up to one full man. <laughs> when they out Hercules, when they put Hercules out on DVD, the first set had a contest you could enter to win a, win a trip to the Olympics with Kevin Sorbo. And to this day, I can't imagine anything more uncomfortable than the possibility of winning that. <laughs> he is a mess. He's a loser, a baby, a mess. As I've said a couple times, I sat next to him during a dinner at the at SDCC. I don't even know what that is. A few years back, I was astounded at how not bright he is. I wasn't judgy or unkind about it at the time because that would have been a dick move. But let me say for the record, is he stupid? I don't know if he's just stupid. I think he's malicious. That's what I think. I think Kevin Sorbo is malicious. The coup failed. Now they're looking for someone to blame. Because four Trump supporters are dead. That's the funny thing. If these were all anti-fascists, which obviously they aren't, they were fascist coup plotters, how come all the people that died were fascists? Why can't you answer that? How come the lady that was shot and killed was a QAnon supporter? All over the internet with this Trump BS, this mindless drivel. They have no answers. Look. Could there have been provocateurs there, liberal, moderate, conservative, 
or otherwise, someone on the left, anarchist, communist, socialist, I suppose, but they didn't need that. They had already been provoked by the traitor-in-chief. They had already been provoked by his crime family. They had already been provoked, ladies and gentlemen, by other Republicans in the House and senators. What a disaster. What a disgrace. What a bunch of derelicts of duty. Not to mention unenlightened halfwits. You thought you could control this sort of energy? You guys aren't going to ever be able to meet that sort of a moment. You clowns wouldn't ever have the character to rise to that kind of occasion. Talk about fundamentally overestimating yourselves. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.